Maria from Livingston has a water intrusion problem. Yeah, it happens, she says, during torrential rains, Tom, and it does this. Now, she sent us this footage in, and you can see this underneath. There's, I think you'll see in a second she pulls. I wish you had a wider shot here, but she comes in and you can see. I can see, see it. There's a window. It's very clear. Watch that it would it drive me crazy. It, she takes the towel, wipes <laughs> yes. away. It comes right back in again. This is a yeah. lot of water. Yes, and it so, is a lot of water. Yeah, you know, so Marla writes that uh, the water comes in the house uh, from the bottom, and we can't figure out how it's getting in. We have put it in all kinds of drains around the house to keep the water away from the house, but nothing works. The house is on a slope, and the bottom floor would be considered a basement, although completely finished. She wants to know, Tom, how is that water getting in? I think she really wants to know how to stop it from getting in. No, there's no doubt. And there's a couple of things in this question, because I don't know what's going on on the outside, but maybe we couldn't see. She says it's on the uh, it's on a slope. So the water is coming down to the house somehow. Number one. Secondly, this this place that she's in is she said some would consider it somewhat of a basement, which means it's underground. Uh, and I've always said this, Charlie, that you can't turn a house over and it'll float. You can't make a boat out of a house. It just doesn't work that way. That water, if it's coming in the ground and it's on the t high side of the slope and that's where this wall is, and that water is migrating down into the ground, which it probably is, you have to waterproof to the outside of the wall. You can't do it on the inside. And it looks like the house is well taken care of. The paint looks good, the floor is beautiful, uh, the color combination's nice, but this is a very aggravating problem. And unfortunately, one of the things people will, will send us are pictures of the actual inside of the problem. But what I always want to see is what's on the outside. Right on the other side of that window, is it at ground level? Is it three feet above, below? I mean, what's going on? I've had basements where the windows built go below the actual ground and they have a cutout in front of the window just to get light into basements. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But there's a problem and it has to be addressed from the outside of that existing wall. Drains are a help, but they only work if they're working. And obviously, just because they put them in, it's not solving the problem. So the problem has got to be something else. So I suspect it's on the high side coming down. This is somewhat in the ground when it hits the bottom. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's got to be addressed. You can't do it from the inside. You have to go to the outside. And if that means, and Charlie, I know you've lived in northern climates where they've had to dig, and I've seen them do projects, take a backhoe and dig around the basement, waterproof the basement on older homes, and then refill with granite and do all kinds of things to get the water to run out. And mm -hmm. people up in the northeast and northern climates have probably been through this with older homes several times or seen neighbors go through it. It's the only way to address it on the outside. The other answer, which is a real problem, and I know you've seen this, are sump pumps in people's basements where they just give up, put a pump in there, let the water come in, catch it and pump it out as it comes in. And that's actually pretty common in underground uh, uh, rooms and things, what people would call basements, half basements, things of that nature. So I have a feeling it's going to have to be addressed from the outside of that wall. And that's as far as I can take it. It's the nature of concrete, I guess. I'm, I mean, because even when it's cured and everything, it's still porous, right? I mean, it's going to not only Absolutely. let water in, it but is not the water waterproof. is going to also travel, isn't it? You don't see concrete ships. You see steel ships. Uh, but yes, it's, it's going to saturate just like a sponge. Sometimes they're built out of block. Sometimes they're built out of poured concrete. That's not waterproof by any means, especially if you have hydraulic pressure. It'll push water through concrete. It'll take a little while, but once it starts coming through, uh, it happens. But most of the time, it's at the joint between the foundation and the wall when it comes up under the wall and it looks like it's coming up at her floor. And that can't that has to be waterproof from the outside. People say, just caulk along the inside. It's too late. You're four to six inches too late at that point. The water's coming in. It's not backing out. Before it's too late, click on that blue yes. button at homeshowradio.com and send us your questions. Tom can help you. And just like we just helped, tried to help Marla, um, you send it in with pictures and videos like that. It helps us understand. And like Tom said, if you're going to do that, make sure you give us, you know, we had somebody last week who sent us a wide shot and a close-up shot. That's great because it gives us more clues to, to help you. And that's what Tom, that's why Tom's here. He's a retired home builder with a degree in architecture ready to help you. And we'll post your video, the answer to your question at homeshowradio.com. 
uh, on our Facebook page and uh, our YouTube channel.